Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. A Crazy here. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a 15th anniversary video to, to the Pixar film that came out in theaters on June 27th of 2008. 15 years ago today, Pixar released WALL-E. Yep, that's right. It's already been 15 years since Pixar released WALL-E. And I actually have I actually have two DVD copies of the movie itself from WALL-E. I actually have the the, the, the basic standard DVD version of Wally right here. And I also I also have a three disc special edition where it includes the digital copy when it was released on DVD at the time. And yeah. Yeah, it's 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 hard to believe Wally's already fifteen years old and yeah, time yeah, you can all say time does fly pretty pretty fast when you think about it, because you know it's like because everything two thousand eight is turning fifteen years old. And now Wally, and now Wally just turned fifteen. Yeah, and and of course you can already you can see I ha I have this Wally toy right here from like like what, from, that I got when I was a kid at the time, and and yeah this was actually this Wally toy was this this Wall this was actually one of the Wally toys that was actually released by Thinkway Toys, Thinkway Toys that that made that made some pix some toys based on the Pixar films like Toy Story and Wally, and and of course I also have Eve right here. Yeah, these 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 toys don't really don't really well as, as they used to that much anymore because they because I think they're because I think because I think I, I I kept them forever and and for somehow they they broke for some reason, but yeah these are just something to keep forever and just to just have some 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 you know display. Yeah, but yeah so these Wally toys were released by Thinkway Toys so like like I said and. And of course, I actually remember. Do, I actually do remember seeing the the movie Wally in the theaters. Like, I actually, went, I think, I think my, I remember my dad told me to see Wally in the theaters when I was a kid, and and of course the this and, and of course the movie itself was also accompanied by a short film called Presto, where it's it's basically like a magic short film that talks about like the, the that talks about magic about a magic show, and it's about like a magician and a bunny rabbit who basically you know it's like it it, it basically play, plays homage to like the style of Bugs Bunny and Tom and Jerry cartoons and, and especially cuz even even the bunny rabbit himself Alakazam which it kind of sounds like the magic word Alakazam but the first word Alec that's my name Alec as well so it's like the bunny rabbit has my name Alec yeah that's nice that's cool but but of course even Alec's design in Presto was even was even was even was even inspired by by the animators who worked on the Secret Life Pets and which Snowball, Snowball the Rabbit even looks, he, he kind of does look like Alakazam. And of course, when I think of Alakazam, like a, the bunny rabbit from Presto, it kind of reminds me of me because, you know, Alakazam has my name, Alec. <laughs> pretty clever. And then, of course, the movie itself, like Wally. Like, w Wally, Wally's pretty much almost like, like a robot that cleans up trashes and, and messes, like, like on Earth. And, and, pretty much, and pretty much, you know, Wally meets another robot named Eve who comes down from space and who's trying, who's basically looking for a plant. And of course, that, that's, that's also one of the well-known objects that are in the movie. Like a shoe with the, the plant, with the plant in it. And, and even the, the movie Wally does have some good Easter eggs. And this is, this is, this is, this is also the, the, the debut appearance of By and Large, which is basically like the, the fictional company from Wally, By and Large, or B&L for short. And and even and even the major plot point to this movie was actually the the directive emergency code A one thirteen and A one thirteen has been an Easter egg in many Pixar movies ever since Toy Story, and it it, it was actually named after that that classroom number at Cal Arts, which is like a an animation college, and it's like and it's like and it's like and and that classroom A one thirteen became an Easter egg and a hidden message in almost every Pixar film. And yeah, and, and of course, and, and of course, the number, and of course, the and of course, the term A one thirteen also became a uh, became uh, became a plot point to Wally as well. Like I said, and, and and it does have a good voice cast like John Rassenberger, Kathy and Jimmy, Sigourney Weaver, Jeff Garland, and and of course Andrew Stanton, who's known for directing Finding Nemo, Finding Dory, and of course we can't forget about Thomas Newman, Thomas Newman, who did the music score, who recently did Elemental. And yeah, my mom even likes likes the song that was in this movie, Down to Earth. Yeah, my mom, because I remember my mom used to love that song. He, she used to love singing along to it. And yeah, and of course the the special features that that Wally includes it basically includes like the documentary film, like the the Pixar story. I think it's included on one of these, but it includes deleted scenes and and. Oh yeah, it also it also includes another short film which I actually which I actually watched on Disney Plus this morning instead of rewatching the movie itself. 
I decided to change it. I decided to change it up by watching the short film that was included on the home video release, which is Bernie. Bernie's actually is actually like like a, like another type of robot character that that briefly appears in the movie itself, where where after after even Wally dance in space, and it's like you know the the defined dancing scene. But then of course when 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 even Wally returns to the Axiom. They they accidentally lock Bernie out. They accidentally lock him out, and then and then Bernie was last seen like banging banging his hands on the on the his his hands on the door, and, and like trying to get back inside, but then to no avail. And then and then, and yeah, the short film you know Bernie pretty much takes place during the events of of, of the of the movie itself, Wally, and it's like you know we we actually do get to see like what happens to Bernie like throughout most of the film. And. Oh yeah, and plus Bernie was actually played by Angus McLean. Angus McLean, who's recently been laid off from Pixar, he he was recently known for co-directing Finding Dory and also the, directed Lightyear, last year's Lightyear film. And yeah, Ben Bird actually did the sound design. I bet, and I gotta say, the sound designs that were that were in Wally was definitely was definitely well edited and, and well well heard as well, well done as well. Like, because I gotta say, the sound designs were 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 a lot of fun to listen to, and it's like Ben Bird's sound design is well done, including his performance as Wally. Alyssa Knight was also good as Eve as well, and yeah, and it's like and and even even to this day, as of twenty twenty three this year, Wally's actually the only Pixar film that had live action elements because the only live action on screen actor that was in this film was Fred Willard, who's no longer with us since twenty twenty. Fred Willard, he actually plays like Shelby Forthwhite, who the, in, in the in those like one of those advertisements for like. Like at the beginning of the film, like Shelby Forthright, and who, who was played by Fred Willard. And yeah, because you know it, it's basically like how everything about this movie is is beautifully animated, and it's like, and the, even the visual styles are are well are are pretty as well, They're like well well done. And oh yeah, because and back in twenty sixteen, in twenty sixteen, the the president of the president or manager of Pixar, like the president of Pixar. He he said that he he said that there's actually no plans for for a Wally two because Jim Moore said there's no plans for a sequel. It can, it's just stating that Wally is, is pretty much a it's pretty much a, a a finished story, which is like a complete movie story that 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 with, without any continuation at all. And I do agree with Jim Morris. I think I think Wally's better off as, is better off as a standalone movie that doesn't deserve to become a franchise. Whether it would have it would get a sequel or a TV show because. Because it, cause it, I think because if you watch the movie carefully and if you watch the ending to the film very carefully, you can definitely see that there's no need for continuation for Wally. There's no need to no need to continue the franchise with with another with a, with a sequel or a TV show, whatever. Oh yeah, and plus I almost forgot to mention this movie even brought to brought to me the movie Hello Dolly because they actually because Wally was actually watching this little, this little cassette tape that featured the movie the musical movie Hello Dolly. Yeah, it's it, it. It pretty much includes like the two songs that originated in "Hello Dolly," "Put on Your Sunday Clothes," as well as um, "It It Only Takes a Moment." And yeah, it's like this movie did have some good Easter eggs, like like Pixar usually does. And even and when, when and during the scene when when Eve was scanning for the plant, the, one one of the one one of the plate one of the things that where she looks in is is actually the Pizza Planet truck from Toy Story. Yeah, that was a good Easter egg I noticed there. The Pizza Planet truck. Because the Pizza Planet truck is, is, I will say, I think the Pizza Planet truck will have to be my favorite Pixar Easter egg. Yeah, because, yeah. And pretty much what, what this movie's going for is pretty much how, it, it pretty much explains that, like, it's based on, like, nostalgia or, like, or more, more like, sci-fi. And and, and and plus, there's even, like, some 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 references, some, some aspects that do reference the, the Stanley Kubrick film, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And speaking of which... I actually watched 2001: A Space Odyssey on on Max last night, and yeah, it's a definitely it's a it's a fantastic, beautiful, beautifully beautifully done movie from Stanley Kubrick, like 2001: A Space Odyssey, and and and, and after Toy Story 2, Wally was actually the second movie to use also Spratches are Thustra, like when, when, like when the captain was like when the captain was, was like was like saving saving the Axiom and from from being tilted and and, and defeats Otto. And yeah, because even Otto's re Otto's red spot is that is also is also a, re a reference to Hal, of course, like Hal, like Hal nine thousand from two thousand one: A Space Odyssey. And and what's what, what's pretty interesting about Otto's voice is that is that Otto's voice is is actually not provided by a voice actor at all, because for for Otto's voice they actually got like like some sort of talking software, like a robotic voice to play Otto, and it's actually and it's actually that little Macintosh voice programming called um Macintalk. 
where I, I think it's almost like a text to speech so like voice that 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 that's seen that's used on MacBooks or Macs, whatever. Oh yeah, and plus, and when and when Wally and when Wally gets gets so, gets fully solar charged, it, it, it makes that little uh, that that iMac G3 startup sound. Yeah, that startup sound was also used on other Macs as well, like the MacBooks and MacBook Pros, and then, but you know, newer MacBooks have have like have like a have like a, a new a new redone like startup sound, which kind of sounds almost similar to that, but still the same. And Wally was also the first Pixar movie that used the the 2006 to 2022 Disney logo, because the, the first teaser trailer for Wally used the 1995 to 2007 logo, but then the movie itself ended up using the the 2006 to 2022 logo, which was last seen on Lightyear, and the 100th anniversary logo debuted on Elemental in terms of Pixar. It actually debuted on Strange World in terms of Disney. So, but yeah, so. But yeah, so if you if you guys haven't seen Wally yet, then I don't know what you're what you're missing out on. I, this movie's great. It's actually one of my favorite Pixar movies of all time because I remember watching this movie all the time back back when I was a kid, and, and also back when I was in private school or summer school when we were talking about like you know some some type of science subjects. And and yeah, and of course, if you haven't seen Wally in like a long time, then I gotta say Wally's definitely worth a rewatch to some of you guys. For me, I only I only rewatched the short film Bernie on Disney Plus since I was gonna rewatch the, the the movie itself on Disney Plus to celebrate its 15th anniversary, but then I was thinking I changed my mind. So yeah, yeah, because I know I've seen this movie countless times and yeah, so but it's fine. So some of you some some of you guys out there can can rewatch it, of course, whether you have it on DVD or Blu-ray or if you have Disney Plus. But yeah, so yeah. So with that being said, happy 15th anniversary to Wally, celebrating 15 years of Wally. And there you go. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you if you haven't yet. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. With that being said, until next time, this is Mr. Eight Crazy saying. Goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.